ladies and gentlemen, Polonians, Saxonians, and you Rusfiat out there, this is Red Rupee with another in our line of videos, the Iron, Iron Harvest, Harvest Platinum, Platinum series, series, where we get those sweet, shiny, shiny Platinum medals for our profile and bragging rights. Okay, now you can see we only need a gold and a silver medal here. We need to defeat 232 enemies, and then we're going to go for the bonus objective Frugal on Gold, and we're actually going to leave our Tempered down to 80% here. You can see we're just playing with the, the buttons a little bit, showing you the difference here. Now, 60% income and 80% HP is what we're looking at. If you are looking to get that final achievement in the season, you need to set yourself to Golden on Tempered. That's the only thing the reward is linked to, Golden on Tempered. You still need to complete the primary objectives, but you need Golden on Tempered. So don't worry about the strategy. The strategy that we're showing here works for everything. So you can, you can play this however you want. But for this video, we're going Golden on Frugal, Silver, on tempered. That's what we're going for. We're going to earn our platinum medal right here, getting the overview. Uh, what we're actually going to do, we're going to kind of do what we do in a lot of the other maps, just like we did in uh, Hold the Line. We're, we're going to fall back a little bit to our central, our central point. We're not going to defend as far out as it has us set up to do. We're going to kind of take the high ground here. We'll go out for the first wave here. We're going to make, uh, we're going to send our cannons over here, the Votan right there. And uh, we're gonna make. We're just gonna put these guys on group one. Send them over to this side with the Grimbart, and we're gonna prepare ourselves for the first wave. Now you do need to survive. Uh, if if you're looking at the timer and you're not sure like how long you have to survive, you have to survive till about 32 minutes or so and get all the kills, as many as you can to really to really secure that primary objective. Uh, we're gonna get. We're not gonna put down that bunker. That was set wrong. Our first bunker is going to go on this corner facing down, and we're actually going to put a bunker on each corner there, and uh, we'll have to put one somewhere else. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, Erkenig is looking good. Uh, we're going to upgrade our resources relatively quickly just to start getting our income up. The oil mines, I don't, the oil pumps I don't think really matter, so we're just going to upgrade our iron mines to make sure our iron income is looking all right, because that's really the more important thing. We'll end up with plenty of oil surplus by the end of all of this. But uh, otherwise, we're just looking for those early iron mine upgrades, and then uh, we're pretty much just gonna gonna tech up and get 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 some big mechs out. Uh, we're looking for like kind of two Kaiser, two Votans by the end, but we'll see what we end up with, uh, and how we reserve which units or preserve rather both units. So this this is a bunker you have to put up, or they'll steal your oil oil pump. So we're gonna put one bunker up there. Here comes the first wave. It's just some infantry and a serp. So uh, the Serp you can kite around easily enough. We also have some Cola Lulls over here. So, uh, you know, the, the Shrapnel Pill Box will just shred this infantry, no problem. I mean, it's, man, they disappear so fast under that Shrapnel. And the big Psyche Boy, the, 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 apparently they just, their favorite, the, their favorite Pokemon was Scyther. So they just wanted to make a robot like that. Uh, we even have the Eisenhans adding a little bit over here. The Eisenhans aren't great, but they uh, they do awesome melee, so they can help you with the Grozas later on, and uh, their mortars do actually affect the infantry. It's just some nice splash damage to add in to all of this over here. On the far side, uh, again, the, the Kololols should actually fall to the Grimbart in the bunker over there. Uh, just try to keep try to keep your infantry together, throw down a grenade where it's needed, keep your infantry squads alive, retreat when necessary. Uh, this is this is all fairly straightforward. We get a nice grenade on the cannons over there, and uh, yeah, you can see the Grimbart actually doing pretty significant damage to the rear armor of these Kololols. And uh, you don't have to do all of this verbatim, obviously, when you're watching these videos. The key thing is to like take note of the defense points and take note of like where I put the things like bunkers and uh, when we get upgrades and which units we build in general. You don't have to you don't have to do this verbatim but this is just hopefully kind of like a good guide to help you get a feel for how to how to start moving towards your platinum medals all right and of course i'm going to put my engineers on hotkeys that way i can keep repair going keeping repair up is very important and wherever you can you can see i'm i'm, I'm salvaging this wreck we actually i think we blew up the serp wreck so that's uh that's a little tragic there because the serp is actually some pretty huge income early on it's something like 30 oil and uh, and like a hundred a hundred iron or something like that. So uh, once these guys start getting vetted, you really want to keep your squads alive in this one because unlike some of the other missions, uh, you will eventually start fighting against vetted troops. You will fight vetted and elite squads and mechs 
towards the end of this mission. So you really want to make sure that you're keeping your squads and mechs alive so they are also vetted. Uh, the, the vet is actually very significant in this game. I think I, I'll, I'll have to do a video on the vet mechanics as well. So uh, now we're just keep an eye on the mini-map, see where stuff's coming in from, and we're just going to rearrange. We're just going to rearrange our defenses until we have enough for everything. Now the reason we're pulling up back to this higher tier is because there's only four entrances. So you can kind of juggle your mechs between these, these couple spots. The oil pump should now be safe uh, with that... With that that uh, shrapnel box down, it'll 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 draw aggro. The enemy won't cap at all if they're under fire. So all you have to do is put something there. For whatever reason, that's the only point that the AI seems to like to take. So so long as we have that bunker down, that point will be safe. I guess the other nearby point is actually covered by the default bunker that you start with. So maybe that's what contributes. All right. So just a couple infantry over here. The shrapnel is going to take care of that. Uh, same thing on this side. And yeah, we're looking good. So, uh, like I said, keep everything repaired. We've got our upgrades down. So, we'll eventually, now that we have, so see, I have my engineers on four and five, so I'm just bouncing them around, making sure everything is uh, staying kosher, staying, uh, staying healthy. We want to make sure we get our vet man. It's a shame those bunkers don't vet up. I really want to see something like kill numbers on squads. We're going to go ahead and get our next bunker up right here. And there's only one spot where you can't put a bunker. It's up on this top corner. And uh, there's, there's really not any good space for one. You can kind of squeeze one in, but it's in not ideal uh, positioning usually. So I just don't go for it. And so far, we haven't really needed it. All right, so look, looking good, looking good. And we, we get 80 supply in this mission, which is awesome, because, I mean, that, that just gives us a huge army to deal with. All right, man, just uh, just shredding infantry, the shrapnel and the Votan. I mean, the infantry are be, get to the point that they're no problem. The, the only thing that starts becoming problematic are, are the exosuits that you have to watch out for, the Groza jumps. They'll actually jump up your walls later on. And you have to be ready for that. And then uh, then the artillery mechs, which uh, start coming up a little bit later. But uh, that's that's not till almost the final waves that those guys really start showing up. So you can see our income's actually looking pretty all right. Uh, oil is still quite slow. But uh, so long as we keep our current mechs alive, uh, it, it won't be a problem. So we're going to get our third and final bunker up top. At least, well, our third and final direction. We'll actually put up one more bunker, I think. Uh, I like to put two on the bottom right corner, but uh, just checking around, keeping an eye on the mini-map, making sure all those little enemy dots are handled. And, uh, oh no, we're going to blow up this Ognivo. I I'm going to try. Oh my gosh, the, the Votan's totally going to shoot that watch. And, oh, no, oh, I think it was actually the Eisenhorn mortar that took it out. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, uh, that's another wreck. Really try, those wrecks make a pretty big difference. So if you can, if you can try to get some more salvage in, I'm being a little sloppy here, but salvage, uh, with, with the 60% resource income disadvantage, the salvage is actually, oh man, we need, we should get old, old Barty over here to give these guys a hand. Uh, this is getting a little dicey. I think, I think we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Uh, we'll just get those cannons back. And here's a, here's a little trick, too, is that you can actually reinforce your squads. See how I have that green X right there in the, in, the, in the bottom corner? Boom! Reinforced from all the way down here. So you can heal and reinforce from behind those sandbags. Another sweet tip right there. Uh, so Nagan, Nagan kind of a pain, but uh, between the shrapnel and the Urkanigs, they're actually adding a lot of chip damage to that fight. It's actually kind of a kind of a tough fight sometimes between a Votan and a uh, and a Nagan, but you get the cannons. You get you get you just keep your anti vehicle. I keep my anti vehicle cannon boys on a hot key. That Nagan's gonna be some good scrap for us too. All right. And and we're we're just we're just rolling through right now. Okay, we got some Kololols, we got some Ognivos, and some cannons. The 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 trick is to just make sure. The, the obvious threats are handled. So, like, the Ognivos aren't a threat, but the cannons could be. So you just make sure your Votan is, is clear of the cannons. But, uh, honestly, a Votan will, will wreck a couple cannon squads pretty well. Uh, we'll eventually be upgrading our pillboxes to, to cannons on most sides. But for now, it's fine that they're shrapnel. I think I leave the lower ones as shrapnel anyways. 
We'll see how we'll, we'll see how it's looking by the time we get to the end as to what we end up finishing up the upgrades for. But uh, this this might be my favorite challenge map. I like this one. It's actually not very clear in the way it's uh, relayed to the player, but it's actually a, a survive till the very end, like fight until you literally run out of troops kind of mission. I didn't understand that at first until uh, the game ended. And as the game ended, it said victory, and I was very confused. And I realized that it was it was its intention is to be a, a fight to the last kind of mission. So that's why the main objective is kill X number of troops, because the idea is that it becomes harder and harder to survive wave after wave. So I, I, hopefully they improve the messaging on that a little bit. But uh, either way. Uh, it's a very fun mission once you get once you start getting the hang of it. And I might even start trying some different builds. Maybe we'll post some of those. And I'm sure as beta balances come in and changes come in, we might have to change some strategies around that anyways. So that'll be fun to try again with different strats and options as they become available. But uh, anyways, this is this is of course as you can see in the top right corner there, their fancy overlay, the the Iron Harvest preseason. So uh, this might, depending on when you're watching this, if you're watching this months or weeks from now, uh, this could certainly be a, a, a non-viable strategy. Well, we'll see how it goes. As of right now, it, uh, it seems to work out pretty well for me. I've gotten platinum with this a couple times now, so I decided to go ahead and record it this time so that we could get it down for everybody. And uh, you can see I've gone right into a Kaiser here, similar to how uh, you do the Tur strat on to the last man you can get these bunkers and then tech straight into a kaiser all of your all of your buildings come upgraded in this mission unlike other missions so you can just go right to the big boys and they give you enough mechs from the start that you can hold with them pretty well here comes the first grows away and what you want to do is actually just send your cannons into your bunker the cannons will actually hold very strong in the bunker against the grozes they do great anti exosuit damage the Grimbard's doing all right here. We're throwing down some grenades. Oh my gosh, are the cannons actually going to get in there? Okay, they do. Oh, that's right. I, I always forget the health bar changes as they get into the bunker. It's very confusing. That's uh, that's some strange UI inter interface there, but uh, some user interface <laughs> interface. Uh, don't mind. Don't mind me. I'm good at word talking. But we are. We're looking. We're we're looking great. These first few waves are easy peasy. When I first played this mission, I tried to play way down on the first tier, and I found it's just not worth it. So we're gonna put we're gonna put one last bunker down up top here, and that's where I just placed it. We'll hop back to that in a second. I just want to make sure this Ultimate goes down. The Issa Grim should be able to handle that quite handily. Traveling that way. And uh, yeah, I mean we're looking fine right now. We're starting to get some vet. We've even got some elite cannons already. Some some hand cannon boys uh, from all those Groza kills. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, we're gonna harvest some some Ognevo scrap right here. Sorry, Hotman. Afraid not this time. The the Ognevo totally makes me think of some sort of firebender contraption, man. It lo it looks like it's straight out of Avatar, man, because it's like janky and like ancient and iron, which is kind of the, the kind of the tech they have in that universe. But uh, so I always just I always just think of him as some sort of some sort of fire nation tech adapted by the Rusviet. All right, so Colacols, more Ognevo, no big deal. Looking, looking smooth here. We're going to have to fix up. So here we go. We're going to do this again. See, we just pull them back behind. And then, boom, we can reinforce. We're actually close enough to the barracks that we can reinforce on the low ground here. We never actually really have to retreat. You can just keep those cannons behind that line, and they'll be good to go. All right. Bunch of light machine guns, more more Flamio Hotmans. Building upgrade complete. And we have one cannon now. So, I mean, it, 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 the, the timing of it is, is pretty vague. Uh, like I said, I put down the three pill boxes and then I go for the Kaiser. If you're looking for, like, build order stuff, that's what you want to think. Get your, get your first few pill boxes down and then go for the big boy. Makes it quite easy to go from there. The the defenses are, are automatic, so you don't have to mess with them too much. All you really have to do is move your mechs between the spots that the incoming enemies are coming from. And then, uh, and then just keep your engineers on repair duty. Keep everything healthy. Keep your squads alive. Uh, you can even spin your Urkening around a little bit here and there to make sure uh, that it's firing in the right direction. And eventually later on, we'll actually end up with some extra Urkenigs. So uh, that'll be awesome too. 
So beyond that, we just get to watch the madness, man. We, 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 the Erkonig, uh, just wrecking infantry, man. That was a good shot. Now the Eisenhans throwing in as well, and these guys are like half dead before they even get in range of anything. It's awesome. It's so good. Infantry waves are no problem at all. Get out of here. You dang. Rusviet boys. This is the Saxonian Empire. This is one of our fortresses. It'll never fall. And we say that even though we know. In about 15 minutes, this thing's going down. But you gotta keep the mindset, right? Oh, can we get this? Can we get... Oh my gosh, I feel like the Votan's actually gonna kill it. Can we... Nope, nope, nope. Alright, alright, alright. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Get back. Get back, Stormtroopers. Yeah, he's got the right idea. He knows what's up. Okay, more of these boys coming in. Alright, everything's looking great. Yeah, Grimbart's gonna shred all this infantry. We, even the cannon, the cannons disrupt infantry. They don't do a lot of damage, but it causes the infantry to kind of disrupt a little bit. I'm not sure about the Grimbart's special ability. It doesn't seem like it's terribly effective all the time. It's kind of like a, a, a cannon barrage there, but I'm not sure how that works. Anyways, okay, we got a Negan coming in over here, so we're gonna need a, a little more anti-mech on this side. Oh my gosh, look at all these grenade boys. Kaiser blasting away. Grimbart's elite. Everything is looking good. Oh, and here we go. All right, it's time for the 12th regiment. Oh no, but we don't have a 12th regiment. It's all gone. I feel like that's how that's how it should be displayed. The first, the primary objective should be hold out for the 12th regiment. And then once that's completed and the 12th regiment, you find out the 12th regiment is gone, then the new objective should say hold out to the last man or something like that. This mission, I guess, should be called the last man. I don't know why the Polonian one is called the last man because you get to build more troops there and keep fighting and eventually you win. This should be to the last man because you're literally, that's literally how the mission ends. Uh, once the last man falls, that's, that's your victory condition. All right, so the Nagans in here. The Nagans, uh, we, yeah, we got to get a little more anti-mech over here, I think. Uh, Kaiser, Kaiser, come on, come on, help these boys out. So, uh, oh yeah, we've got the Votan over here too. So let's, let's get him up there. And uh, so here's the trick with these guys. Uh, let me make sure this is good. Oh, oh my gosh, that was sloppy. That was sloppy. We let them go down to the Nagan. That's fine, though. There are worse things. We still got plenty of iron, and really, the mechs are more important at the moment anyways. Although, I do want to send some stormtroopers. Well, I'll show you this trick in, a, in just a second. Oh my gosh, the Votan is just going up in their face and uh, blasting them away. All right, so our stormtroopers are down here. We're actually just going to hop in the building, and they're going to distract those three Groza so they don't kill the Okanids. All right, and uh, oh my gosh, this Nagan's still wrecking my infantry. It's elite now. And see, look at look, these Grozas don't know what to do with themselves, and the Urkanigs just escape. So it's a really easy way. You don't have to commit any forces, and then you get three free Urkanigs. All right, so you'll ju we'll just pull those guys out of the building in a moment. We're going to send everything back this way, back around to the other side. And uh, we'll repurchase those engineers that we, uh, we lost, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, it's a little sloppy when I'm when I'm trying to play and talk and all that at the same time. I tend to play a little goofier. Uh, oops, when we lost the stormtroopers. All right, so normally you're gonna pull those out and retreat them. You're not just gonna stand there and let the Grozas smack them in the face with their great big exosuit arms. Uh, okay, uh, we need to salvage over here, and this is what I was talking about. You can kind of put one here, but it, you can't really turn it in such a way that it that it's it. You can kind of get it over there, but it's so far back. It's not that effective. So you can, if you want, you can slap one down there, but I rather, I'd rather at this point just go for the mechs. Uh, let's see. Okay, Urkanigs, you can move forward. Oh, no! Oh, shoot, we didn't actually cover the Grozas. Oh, we got, we're probably going to lose one of these Urkanigs. Don't be like me! Uh, take care of your Urkanigs. Uh, let's see, they, they might actually go down quick enough here. Oh, oh my gosh, we lost one. We lost one. 
Oh no. Okay, well it's fine. We'll only have three. Hopefully in your run you'll have four and this will be even easier. Oh man, screw these Groza guys. Screw these Groza guys. Get out of here. Leave my Urkonigs alone. Ugh. That was slop. We, we've gotten a lot of slop in this one, but I think we'll still get that platinum medal. So it just goes to show you, you don't have to follow this verbatim. You don't have to save everything. You can tape a couple losses without having to like restart or try again. And see, when that first said primary objective failed, I was so confused. I thought I had to like restart the mission or something. I thought it was a bug, but it's fine. It's just going to say objective failed because your original objective was effectively to wait. I think what they're trying to message is that your forces don't have to survive to win the missing. I, I, I don't, I guess that was their best way to do that without adding a separate mission UI or something. It, it's confusing, but don't, don't sweat it. Once it says primary objective failed, that's just part of the mission. Think of it as like a, think of it as like a scripted uh, RPG fight, right? Where you have to lose. That's effectively what this is. All right, we've got our next Kaiser out as well. So, I mean, just, just buy Kaisers when you have the money. And uh, let's see, we've got 63 of 80. So yeah, well, can he squeeze through here? Can he squeeze up? Oh, he's, he's like sidestepping to get through there. There, he made it. He made it. All right, cool. He got around, he got around the Erkenig. Uh, NG's fixing everything up, fixing everything up. Constantly, just keep an eye on your health bars. Glance down at your health bars once in a while, then hit your NG hotkey. And you can actually use the bottom bar there. Just hit the repair hotkey. For me, it's E, so I just hit E, click the bot, fix it up. Keep it going. We got two Nagans over here. The Votan should be able to handle that. Uh, we'll, we'll bring over Isagrim as well, though. And maybe we'll swing down the Erkenig. Uh, what do we have down here? Oh, this is the first Groza wave, so the Grozas are jumping in on the corners of the bases now. And uh, for whatever reason, they won't actually... Uh, they won't actually cap all your stuff. They'll just try to capture maybe one point over here. And all you have to do is send something over to distract them and they'll stop capping it. See, they don't cap it right there. We're good to go. The Nagans are going down. The Serp's coming in. It won't be long for this world either. We just have to... Oh, no! They're going for the Urkonigs. Okay. Okay. The Isagrim will actually hold pretty well against the Groza there, so long as they actually melee. And, uh, oh my gosh, are we going to lose this bot too? The Kaiser's actually not too good at taking these out. You can shoot at the at the Groza with infantry though, and that will usually distract them off of your mechs. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that, we're we're fine. We're fine over here. Urkenigs are good. Okay, this got a little out of hand, but we're fine. Everything's still gonna go down. You can just hide when the Grozas show up. Just hide your infantry in your bunkers, just like we saw in the first wave with those cannon boys, and uh, they'll still just fire at the Groza, take them out. It'll be no problem. And we're just continuing to, we're continuing to repair up here. Sarp goes down. If you lose a bunker, you can just rebuild it. Don't sweat it. Ooh, we might even be able to get, oh, see that bunker goes down right there actually. Oh, and the Sarp thing blew up. Why did that blow up? It must not have had enough space to lay down. I think that's one of the things too. Try to keep your mechs clear of the wrecks and you'll, and you'll go ahead and hopefully have some wrecks to, to salvage because otherwise if you keep it too, uh, too bottled up, the, the wrecks will actually just explode immediately and then you don't get any salvage, you don't get any bonus resources and, uh, you won't be able to get like that extra mech or two out at the end of the map or maybe replace a couple of those bunkers as we are on such a resource deficit. So you can see the, uh, the, the, the Rusviet Artillery bots will actually come pretty close so your Kaisers and Votans can shoot them over the over the walls there uh, Without having to expose themselves too much. So we're, we're, we're looking good. We're getting towards kind of the last few waves here uh, We can see the first waves of artillery bots are starting to come in We're going to make sure just checking around like clicking on all our bots making sure everything is repaired as best as it can be There's a little bit of a UI bug on the Urkonigs you get from the 12th they don't actually have the red bar that shows where their max HP is, so it's kind of, it can be kind of confusing. Like, it looks like those Urkenigs are damaged, but they're not. They're repaired up to 80%. They're ready to go, but uh, just something to keep in mind. All right, a bunch of more infantry. They give us a little break with the big infantry wave over here. And uh, let's see, we're going to move our Votan over this way. Engineers just kind the engineers actually have the toughest job in this in this matchup. I'm telling you this is uh You're constantly repairing all over the place. I don't know if I can get out there and get that get that wreck We're gonna see if we can. Oh, there goes. Oh our first Galegorod 
All right, well, that's the end. Once the, once you get past, like, I'd say 20 minutes and you start losing your exterior bunkers, don't worry about picking them back up because the artillery bots and the Galagorods are just going to start ripping them apart. Combat medics. There's combat medics, but there's nothing for them to heal out here. I guess that's a little bit of a flaw in the Rusviet strategy, I suppose. All right. So uh, in these last few stages, all you have to do is make sure you're not losing your big boys. Uh, if you can keep the Erlkenigs up, awesome. That adds some actually pretty pretty significant DPS in the long run. But uh, the Galagorats aren't going to be able to stand against Kaisers and Votans. They're just that's not their idea. They're like tanks more than more than damage dealers. And uh, oh, Timber, here he goes, big boom. And oh well, we're losing this one a little bit. We get another Votan out. See, like just. Keep an eye on your resources. Like I said, I go two Kaisers and then I start re kind of reinforcing Votans if I need to. The two Kaisers will kind of lock everything down. And then from there, I mean, it's just it's just at your own discretion, whatever you want to buy. I like to go for the Votans and Kaisers. They kind of lock everything down pretty easily. You don't need to micro them too much if you're not as quick with your micro. You just kind of keep the Kaisers blasting away. Oh, our Erkenigs are a little exposed. Oh my gosh, everything's getting... We got a traffic jam here with all these mechs. Uh, another artillery bot over here. Ooh, we're going to get a big pile of resources from that Galagorod. And, uh, man, even, we've even got our Grimbard up here still doing some pretty serious damage. Once that thing is elite, man, whoo, it's some good, good damage. All right, backing him up. See, if you back up, sometimes you can make sure those, uh, those wrecks do spawn so long as they have the space to do so. Okay, I don't I don't actually often use the bunker mode for the Kaisers even once they get vetted up The rockets seem good versus infantry, but they don't seem to do really too much against mechs. I haven't experienced uh, experimented with it that much, but uh it, I haven't needed to use it. So we're just gonna stick with everything as it is uh, Keep replacing engineers if you lose engineers don't sweat that and uh, Otherwise, you're kind of just watching the fireworks and keeping your mechs re repaired the, I the ideal is just like Make sure, keep an eye on the mini-map. Make sure your angles are covered. And get the big mechs where they need to be. And you're good to go. Oh, this Erkenig is very low. We might just pull him to the high ground at this point. Some more Kololols coming in. Uh, Serp. Serp's going to go down real fast. We actually haven't upgraded that shrapnel to a cannon yet. Okay, Serp. Ooh, doing big damage, actually, to that, uh, to that Votan. I honestly still think Serps need a little more damage. Let's see where we go here. All right, Erkenegs setting back up. We're gonna pull them back a little bit, and as as it gets more intense, just kind of just kind of tighten up your line. Pull back to your uh, to your top tier. Uh, oh my gosh, I thought I I couldn't shoot at that guy with the Votan for some reason. He was up on that little pillar. I don't know why that was that was like that. That was a strange little interaction. All right. We're down to the last couple waves. These are the waves that we need to survive to get our final number of kills. I believe it's 232 is what we need. I really wish there was a counter in-game. Hopefully they start putting mission objective counters uh, in the games for these. All right, Votan's going to waddle over, take out this artillery bot. We're going to focus down the Galagorod and uh, turn that Isagrim around so that the Megan doesn't take it out. Heavy cannons on all sides now, so primarily we're worried about dealing with the mechs. Man, I'm not sure what that Galay is doing. He's way up in the base. Oh, he's targeting... Is he targeting the infantry or the Erkenig? I'm not sure. The Erkenig might have done the first damage. Normally the AI, whatever you target it with first, that's kind of what it gets stuck on. So maybe the Erkenig fired on it first, and it's in here trying to take that out. So things are starting to get a little hairy, but just don't sweat it, like I said. More than just staring at what's happening on the screen, keep an eye on the bars along the bottom. Keep an eye on your mechs. Keep your engineers repairing. Oh my gosh, this grows away gets a little dicey, but I think we'll be fine. That Galagorod is down. Oh my gosh, the Votan's doing huge damage anyways. And yeah, you see, even even, the, even with the Groza spam, the mechs still just shred it. They're mad at the shrapnel box, and that's what I'm talking about. See, they're ignoring all the other mechs that have been firing on them. The shrapnel hit them first. So they're just obsessed with killing that shrapnel. Now they're changing to the Kaiser, but it's too late. They're all dead, and we're looking good. We're definitely going to get. We're definitely going to hit that mark. We're at almost 30 minutes, and we haven't lost barely anything. 
Uh, we lost a couple bunkers, but that's that's no big deal. The bunkers are kind of just point defense until you get all your big boys up. And once your big boys are up, the bunkers just kind of add to the DPS. So if you can keep those up, that's awesome. But don't start sweating it if around like 25, 30 minutes you start losing them. And you can see we even have a little bit of resource left. You can either save up for probably like one last Votan here, or you can start slapping your bunkers back down. It's really whatever, whatever you prefer to do. Uh, but I, I like to keep a little extra resource because the engineers will actually start uh, draining a lot of resource if you have two or three engineers constantly repairing. You'll actually be uh, pretty much uh, out out repairing your your fuel income before much longer because they kind of they kind of uh, they it takes one or two fuel to refuel to repair your mechs every few seconds, which is uh, with the 60% resource reduction actually pretty similar to what you're going to hit on your income. So, uh, oh my gosh, the Serp's actually attacking the barracks from the low ground there. All right, we've got Veteran on our second Votan. Oh, Kaiser, Kaiser, Kaiser! Kaiser might be going down here, but that's okay. And you can see at this point, I've just gone ahead and hidden my cannon boys inside of one of my bunkers. It's just way likely they'll, way more likely they'll survive at this point from that bunker. As, as things like, uh, oh, we got artillery coming in. All right, no, we're fine. We're fine. We've only got one Kaiser now, but uh, I think we've made it far enough. We're past 30 minutes. And uh, this should be, this should certainly be enough to make it. There's one more, uh, there's, there's a couple more like piles of infantry that come in with the last few waves of mechs. When you get down to these last few minutes, it counts kills as squads or vehicles defeated. So the, the infantry is normally much easier to take out than the mechs. So as like the last few waves of infantry start pouring in, that's really kind of what you want to focus on. And you won't die if your HQ goes down in this mission, so don't sweat that. It's literally till your last building, last mech, last infantry band falls. So if the headquarters is in distress, don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. Just keep pushing. Keep trying to get those last few kills because it might be the last few kills that matter. But I'm pretty sure at this point, once you've survived to this... Like I said, if you survive the 30-minute wave, you're pretty much good to go. But see, as these like field medics come in here, I'm going to start targeting those just to make sure I get those couple extra kills. I don't know if these will ever have like leaderboards or anything like that. I feel like that would be cool to see how many squads the other, the other people... Uh, you know, your other, even even if it's just people on your friends list and stuff like that, I think would be really fun to see. So we're getting down to the last couple minutes here. It's getting dicey. Uh, everything is, you can see we're starting to get over, overrun, but we're just going to, oh, look at this big pile of infantry here. We can, we can take out at least a few of these, I think. Let's see if we can kill any of these cannon troops. The Kaiser, once the Kaiser's elite and the Votan, they, they almost like one-shot infantry members. So, oh my gosh, you can see there's one down. Uh, oh, we've, got, we've only got two mechs left and there's delays and artillery mechs. Oh my gosh. It's pure chaos. Dude, this mission is so much fun. I don't know how people cannot enjoy trying to play this over and over. Oh man, it's so good. Okay. And that's, we're down to one Kaiser. Can we get a couple more kills? A couple more kills. Come on, give us... See, our cannons are still up. Our cannons are still alive. Oh, my gosh. Cannons go down. It's only this last Kaiser left. And uh, that's it. We got it. We're done. One way or another, we're finished. Let's see... Uh... Oh, poor Jonas. Oh, dear. This is the last thing Jonas saw. Victory? It says exclamation point. I feel like it should be a question mark. Like, victory? Question mark? Uh, we sure we sure made them pay for it. That's all I can say. I'd, I'd like to see a resources loss versus resources loss. I think that would be fun to see in the endgame missions, too. All right, so bam. Reduced resources. Reduced max HP. Golden and platinum. There it is. We got our platinum medal. No problem. That's how you get your platinum medal in Fortress City. If you guys had a good time, Please consider like, comment, subscribe, follow the YouTube, follow me on Twitch as well. We do live streams for Iron Harvest as well. You can learn some good multiplayer strategies, follow some tournament games, or just hang out and talk shop with all of us in chat and on the stream. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. It was awesome. Remember, if you're looking for that achievement, you want golden on tempered. Golden on tempered. Don't worry about frugal. You don't need your platinum. Get gold. 
and finish all the primary objectives with Tempered, and you'll get your final season achievement. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. This is Red Rupee, and I'll be catching you guys next time.